Welcome to Tea Time with your favorite future Facebook, Amazon, and Google software engineer. There's actually no tea in here, we're just going over coding problem. Don't remember which one, so let's just jump right to the credits. Ah, uh, yes, a hacker rank problem. So we're going over New Year Chaos. Um, I'm actually not as big of a fan of hacker rank as you might think. I think they're like great platform, but man, the descriptions are so long. It takes so long. It's like such a simple thing. So this one, all of this is just trying to, I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's ridiculous. It's basically just saying um, how many swaps would it take to get this array list back in the right order of one, two, three, four, five. And then they give you um, a constraint that um, you can't move one number more than two spaces. So like this five is three away. Um, it's one, two, three positions away from where it belongs. And so in that case, we'd return two chaotic. And then they also give you these numbers where, I mean, LeetCode doesn't do this, so I think it's a little <clears throat> easier, but whatever. This is how many queries they are. So there's one query, two queries, and then each query, the first number is how many numbers are the list. So that's like all you need to know. Um, now let's go over the logic to this. Let me, boom, perfect. Ah, oh, what? Okay, there we go. I can't make my iPad any bigger. Sorry, guys. It's all you get for a whiteboard. Suck it up. Um, so I drew out two examples. The two examples they had for us. Um, the first thing we're going to do is since we're returning swaps, let's just initialize swaps to zero. And um, so there's two, well, I guess three scenarios in here. There's um, a scenario where you need to swap a number just like one position, so it's just one index. And then there's a scenario where you need to swap a number two indexes so in this case five to uh, four we'd first need to f swap five and three and then five and four um, and then the last scenario is where it's too far away so for example this um, five is three positions away um, in my code we're not actually going to check to see if it's three away we're just going to check to see if it's one or two away and if not then we're going to return two chaotic but first we want to see if we want to first check that we're going to start from the back we're going to first check that the um, we're going to have an if statement that says if q we want to make sure it's not in the right place before we start checking if we need to where how many positions we need to swap it or if it's too chaotic so if q of i does not equal i plus one that's um how you check so um the one thing i want to do first is we need to print out swaps okay cool so what this is doing is it's saying um, say it's checking this number uh, q of i does not equal i plus one so i i wrote i up here is four i plus one is five five does not equal four so we do need to swap this but let's see how many positions we need to swap it um, and there's going to be a few constraints so we're gonna have an if statement. So this is going to be, um, if I, we first wanna make sure that this does not go out of bounds because we're gonna be checking the I minus one position. So let's make sure it's not out of bounds. And then if Q of I minus one um, equals, let's see, um, <clears throat> I, so Q of I minus one equals I plus one. So when this is gonna work is Q of I, if we do here, so let's one equals I plus one. Q of I minus one. Oh, Q of I minus one equals I plus one. So that is right, Q of I minus one is two. And then we get I plus one is uh, two. One plus one is two. So we know we need to swap those. So this is just going to be a simple we swap two numbers. I'm sure you guys know how to do this. And then let's swap Q of I minus one with Q of I. And then Q of I with Q of, or no, temp. Okay, and then we just need to remember to increment swaps. We're just doing one swap, so just one time. And then we're gonna have our else if statement. So else if this is going to be for when we swap two um, numbers. So I minus two is greater than or equal to zero. 
and Q of I minus two equals uh, same thing, I plus one. So let's go over this real quick. Um, so we have, so where this we need this to execute is it's gonna execute on the five. So Q of I minus two, um, so Q of I minus two, if we start here, um, we see that Q of I minus two is five equals I plus one. So I plus one is four plus one equals five, and we get Q of I minus two equals five. So we see that those are equal to each other. So five equals five, obviously. Um, so now we know we need to swap all three numbers. So we're gonna swap this over here first, and then that. Um, so we're just doing a simple swap statement for two numbers, or three numbers, I guess, equals i minus one. So let's swap it with i minus one. And then we're gonna swap i minus one with q of i. And then q of i becomes i minus two. So this puts five at the end, or where it belongs, q of i. So that's how we do that. And then, oh, syntax error. Okay, so we need to increase swaps by how many? Two, obviously. We did two swaps, so let's do that. E equals two. Okay, looking good so far. And then, like I said, if like I said earlier in the video, um, we're not gonna actually check to see if it's more than two swaps out of the way. Because if it's, these are checking our only two possible scenarios where we don't return to chaotic. Well, actually, this is checking our other scenario as well, if, if, if it's in the right spot. So three scenarios, I guess. Um, so we know if it doesn't reach, well, it's gonna hit this one. So we know if it doesn't hit these two scenarios, then um, we just need to print two chaotic. So that's, simple we don't need to actually check that um and this saves us time because then we don't have to check like i minus three i minus four i minus five uh print ln to chaotic make sure you spell two chaotic wrong we'll get wrong answer if you don't <clears throat> okay now let's run this make sure it works nope Oh, you know what? Um, <laughs> I forgot to put all of this in a for loop. <laughs> Q.length. So we gotta start from the back. I was doing this. Um, I know I said this. So I just forgot to code it. I greater than or equal to zero and I minus minus. So we're going backwards. Um, so let me take all this code and put it in here now it's indexed terribly what the hell just happened okay still indexed weird whatever um you guys know what i was trying to do hopefully <laughs> fuck okay it works i just forgot the for loop simple mistake as i'm sure happens to the best of us all right, so it works. Um, just an oven run tongue, we're just looping through the array one time. And uh, so it's linear, or yeah, linear time complexity and constant space complexity, because I mean, we didn't create anything, we just did it in place. So, uh, and we're just returning the number of swaps. So if this video helped you guys, please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. These videos actually take me quite some time to do the editing. And I hope it helps you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. That's all I got for you. Yeah.